What's happening, guys? Zach Man with another video update on today, which is a very horrible day. Actually, not too bad. I'll explain why. But as you can see, we kind of have a little bit of a sell off today. Quite a bit of a sell off, actually. So um, that's not positive, but we'll kind of get into it and what I expect to happen next. Um, so, right now, obviously, we kind of shot through both our support lines. Um, kind of went down, hit, hit a low here, hit the lower high. And then hit a lower low. My next guess is we're going to hit a uh, higher low here, followed by a lower low, and then a lower high, and then finally a lower low, which will hit this uh, support line, which if we zoom out to the four-hour chart here, we'll kind of see uh, how we follow this little line right here, the trend line anyways, is my guess. Um, obviously anything is possible, but uh, that's where I could see Tron going right now So we should see a bottom here and then finally take back off until we hit the wedge and then kind of keep on bouncing around this wedge um, For Tron uh, one of the reasons why I think uh, we had this big sell-off was obviously Has to do with today it was obviously the day they released BitTorn and it sold out within 15 minutes actually So that's a lot of coins they sold so basically you take your Tron you buy the BTT therefore you sell the Tron therefore you see a decline in, tr in Tron so, uh, BitTorrent, uh, basically, uh, like I said, the coin, uh, let's see, where was I reading it? Last longer than 50 minutes, according to Binance. Uh, more B BTT was available for Tron than there was uh, BNB. In the BNB session, all 23.76 billion BTT were sold to token sale participants within 13 minutes and 25 seconds. Meanwhile, in the Tron session, all 35.64 billion BTT were sold within 14 minutes and 41 seconds. So that's a lot of tokens being sold and traded through Tron. So, like I said, you're selling all that to buy this, so therefore you're going to see a decline in the price, which is kind of what's happening. So, um, that's why I think it'll kind of continue um, until people start seeding and getting profits, and then they'll start cashing out and then buying the Tron, and kind of we'll see how that makes the effect of it but um whole low if we look at whole low uh that was kind of down pretty much the whole market was done no bitcoin took a big crash you can kind of see right here how it took a crash um it's uh and the reason i think bitcoin like i said it has to hit the support down here so it's going to get down to close to 3100 to 3000 before we actually see the correction um but uh, like i said it, it zipped right through that support line over the weekend and pretty much went all the way down there too so um but yeah that's just a little update on today like i said tron uh, i know there's a lot of people that were pissed off <laughs> um because they were trying to buy into uh the btt token but they couldn't get into it because it went so fast so i, I did read an article I, I can't find it again but uh before i you know i don't want to spread any rumors but there was a thing saying that uh they might do a small airdrop for all the people that were trying to get into it of however much i'm not sure but they did mention a small airdrop to the people that were trying to but then the transactions were canceled due to the sellout so it was pretty fast and a lot of people were upset so um but uh, thanks for watching guys have a great day